Hi guys, so let me ask you, are you uh, sick and tired of the standard box style house? Or these large monsters that cost you too much damn money? Well, let's talk about a few alternatives in the world. You see, there's a rise of what we call alternative housing that's coming to the market. And one of the most famous ones is called a tiny home. I'm sure everybody listening to this has seen or heard of a tiny home and there's many versions of a tiny home well did you know there's also a tiny dome yep I sell those too so if you're in the tiny home business or tiny home need I have one of those also uh, and guess what yes it can be made of hemp wood wool and I'm even looking at possible solutions of air crete so we'll see how that goes now that stated the other alternatives are things like container homes, yurts, geodesic domes, uh, the rib domes like I'm selling, uh, underground bunkers people are starting to live in. People are buying bases that had uh, missile silos. Uh, there's all kinds of alternatives out there. Now for me, I want to go sustainable. I do want it strong and to be able to withstand the forces of nature and man uh, so a geodesic dome fits nicely with that. Now the stronger ones are monolithic in nature or concrete. So I'm working on ways to make my hemp domes just as damn strong. So uh, stay tuned for that and we'll see what happens. I'm working with engineers across the board to figure out how to do that. In the meantime, I'm going to storm the nation with these geodesic... I keep saying it because I'm so used to geodesic domes. I'm going to storm the nation with these uh, rib domes that I've got because they're the first of its kind of wrapping hemp around a dome frame and uh, making it withstand hurricane force winds and still being eco-friendly, environmentally friendly, and really healthy for your body, mind, and spirit. That's in nature what domes do. They capture energy and um, give that energy back to you. Also with hemp, it allows you to breathe better. No mold's ever gonna get into your house. Isn't that awesome? And I tell you what, your home's not gonna burn down if it's a, a hemp home. Hemp doesn't burn when it's turned into hempcrete. I'll be showing you more of that in the near future. So, what style of alternative housing do you wish you had? What style do you have or have you heard of that you find intriguing? For me, it's domes all the way. So let's find out more about it as the days and weeks go by because my permitting is coming closer and closer. My architect is asking the final questions and I'm so excited to tell you more about it. Peace out, guys.